Ugh, right. So in today's video, I will be talking about protein. And yeah, I have some whey extreme and some pure whey over here because and even though I'm wearing an Amex t-shirt and this is from Supplements SA, the three supplements that I do stock um, would be Barbarian, which I don't have any, um, any stock of, and their particular whey protein would be the Warrior Whey. And um, the Muscle Dynamics Signature Whey would be the Whey One, which is really an excellent whey, which is an excellent whey protein. Really, it's really well formulated. It has some creatine, has some branched chain aminos, much like the Whey Extreme, which also has a serving of branched chain aminos. The Barbarian does not, but it is a lower calorie whey. So if you're really cutting down and really wanting to get down to those lower digits, lower body, lower digit, body fat, lower body fat percentages and getting down your digits, that is the, that would probably be your last one. But not to say, so unfortunately, I don't have stock of that. So why we talk, why I'm talking about whey is, and I just thought I'd pop some of these up over here, is that whey is a, natural as people like to talk about natural we're not talking about steroids we're talking about natural we're talking about healthy protein is part of your food chain it's part of your nutritional requirements it's something that you need to survive it helps with it helps with immunity it helps with weight maintenance it helps with muscle building it helps with growth it helps with a number of things so it's not just a supplement supplement but it's actually something that is necessary for survival whey protein as the name suggests if you remember um, Little Miss Muffet sat on a tub and eating the curds and whey. Whey protein is actually comes from milk. It's derived from milk. It's a milk protein. So if you are a vegan, then whey protein is not actually going to work for you. And there are other alternatives to whey protein. But this is like a staple in a lot of bodybuilders, a lot of athletes, a lot of everyday people diets also because it is so biologically available it's so easily digested it's so easy to store it's so cost effective when you compare to for instance your meat protein or your animal protein so for instance chicken uh, yeah you wouldn't it, lamb is nice but i mean oh, mutton whatever the fat content is a little bit high and pork okay if you are not halal I suppose then that is one of the meat proteins and even organ meats with all its vitamins and all of those things but I mean the cost of everything is going through the roof everything is so expensive and the price of petrol is killing us all so this is something that it is cost effective and it has a long shelf life and it is convenient so it's something that you can have after a training session for example you can just take some powder with you and mix it up after a workout or if you're feeling hungry or if you're one of those people that you don't have an appetite in the morning but you want to get in your protein so that you keep protein synthesis going and prevent muscle breakdown because you don't want to be you ate your last meal very late at night and then you sleep and then you don't feel like getting up and then your body's kind of starving so you want to keep your metabolism going and you want to spare your muscle because muscle is important when it comes to maintaining your body weight and regulating the, the amount of food you can eat this is why males men can eat more food in general than women because they have greater muscle mass than we do besides all of the other hormones they have more muscle mass meaning their metabolism is higher meaning they can eat more and they burn it off quicker not to say that women have a sluggish metabolism no 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 we can also by becoming more active and making better food choices we can also help with our keeping our metabolism going because women that are more active they have greater nutritive requirements than women that are inactive. But I mean, that the same goes for everybody. You know when someone is active, you know, versus somebody who sits in front of a computer all day or sits gaming or does whatever. So, coming back to the protein. Okay, this is way extreme and then I have a, oh, I have a pure way here somewhere. Protein is important and this is a supplement and like I said with supplements it supplements your diet if you decide you're going to be training with someone and they're giving you a diet plan and they're giving you a training plan and one of the things they tell you is take these take this shake drink it three times a day you don't need to eat food run put on your shoes and move get on out of there because that is not they are right you will lose a lot of weight very quickly and I know we are very impatient so 
the desire to lose weight quickly will always be there people want people want the results now but the problem with that is you've heard that the faster you lose it the faster you regain it and you've heard the horror stories and these are literal horror stories where people talk about how they had a trainer and that's actually amazing to me you have this trainer you commit you meet them every day of the week they give you a food they give you an eating plan and it may even be a plan that you not necessarily are going to stick to but it's a plan that they gave you so while you are with them you train like they tell you to you on time you eat the food they tell you to eat but you feel so deprived you actually I actually was speaking to somebody they went on some three month um, body transformation program and they liked the training but they didn't like the diet and they were like I cannot wait for the three months to be finished and then the three months were finished they ran to get some KFC it didn't taste that great which is which would be a normal response because if you're eating a certain way and you're restricting and you go plant-based and there's a lot of fried stuff you will you may it may actually even make you feel a little bit sick to eat that way but very soon you will just fall back into those old eating habits especially if it is not something that you embrace and becomes a lifestyle and then what happens to these people they lost the weight they gain the weight back after the the program is done and they gain more weight and then what do they say exercise doesn't work for me supplements don't work for me supplements no muscle turns turns into fat and i already spoke about that on a previous video and which we know we know we do know that doesn't happen let's go back to the cat and the dog which was in the previous video so that is why i am saying and i'm very boring and it's maybe not necessarily what you want to hear and it's not the it's not sexy it's not glam lifestyle shows the way you live your life, the choices that you make, whether you are active or inactive, whether you are eating a lot or eating enough or eating too little, it shows on your body. It shows on your skin, it shows, it shows, you can't hide it. So you need to do something that you can do for a lifetime because it needs to become a lifestyle. Everybody is different. Everybody has different preferences. People have food allergies people have financial constraints people have maybe the support system is not there in your household because if you look a certain way and everybody in your family looks a certain way for them that's normal but and now when you want to change and you want to make changes to your diet and you want to start exercising they'll be like why we've always been like this everybody in the family looks like this so if that support is not there think about it like this the support is not there it's uncomfortable what you are going through you are depriving yourself you're not going to be able to stick to it so then it's really it's not going to help so it's not going to work over the long term and you will find unfortunately it may be family it may be frenemies i don't want to say friends it may be those people but they are when you fail they will be like i told you it's in our family it's not going to work unfortunately that is not the truth you when you change everything so strictly you went you basically went against your body in that and you went against your own mind and your own conditioning because you are thinking that to change your body you need to go through punishment it needs to be hard but i mean nobody wants to live a hard life and want to feel like they're punished forever so you need to make the small sustainable changes also people aren't gonna notice that if that you are eating x amount of food every day and now you're just eating a little bit less or your plate is a little bit smaller but they will notice if you were drinking coke every day that you don't drink coke anymore or you don't drink sugar in your coffee as an example so make the small changes it will be easier for you psychologically and it will also be easier for you in terms of it's not going to feel like a punishment you may even feel oh, this is not working but it's, it's slow steps you didn't balloon overnight you're not gonna deflate overnight so just make the small changes and yeah it will it, it will work there will be a positive result so i spoke about whey protein because also i can't say long ago because long ago long ago in bodybuilding people were eating liver and drinking raw eggs and milk like you know from the rocky movies i did it with my dad too the milk and the eggs so in the words of what is it Timon and Pumbaa slimy but satisfying yeah that was a long time ago but now this whey protein almost everybody knows what whey protein is 
or they know protein and they think whey protein. So you can incorporate this. It's like this tub over here is 28 servings. Animal protein, whether it's chicken, whether it's beef, whether it's fish or whatever. You can even think for yourself, 28 servings of chicken. It will not cost the same. It won't take up the same amount of space. It won't be the same convenience. So you are adding to, you're making your life easier. You're making things simpler, not more difficult. So the simpler it is, the easier it is to do it, the less thought and the less it takes you away from your normal life, the more likely you are to stick to it. And smaller changes that are sustainable and consistent over time will give you the best results. So please like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything else you want me to talk about or if you felt this video was a bit long, comment. So, and then I will see you in the next video. So, I'm out. Bye.